Tom Prescott in the hot seat right now from uh, Northville, Michigan. You got two boys there, and one of them is a big fan of the show. What, Absolutely. Five year old, or is he four? four years old? Four years old. And he plays he, the game. He plays the game. He watches it, but every answer is A. Every answer every he says answer is, is A. a. The only way he'd ever win is if every answer was A. And he's probably right 25% <laughs> of the time. Absolutely. Does he have a little celebration after he wins? Oh, he high fives his brother. Okay. And <laughs> That's great. He has a good old time. How did you and uh, Jennifer meet? Uh, it was a blind date. Blind date, huh, Jennifer? Yes. And what did you think when you met him? Um, you know what? He needed a haircut. And so when I walked in the room, I thought, what's with the hair? Yeah. But then once I got to know him, we hit it off like that. Great. You so. did right away, huh? I did. Did you? Yep. I went and told several of my friends that I met the girl I was going to marry. After one date? Yep. And what about you, Jennifer? After the second date. <laughs> after no, no, I got no. My after haircut. he got a haircut. Yeah. yeah. Well, he did get a haircut. And you, and you could see him. All right, Tom. You won 1,000. Going for 2,000. 10 away from that million. Let's get back to it. Let's play. Here we go. 2,000 dollars. In the 1991 movie Terminator 2. Arnold Schwarzenegger's character says which of the following phrases? Sayonara, sucker. Talk to the hand. Peace out. Hasta la vista, baby. D. Final? Final. Hasta la vista, baby, is right. <laughs> Up to $4,000. The city of Chicago sits on the shore of what great lake? Lake Huron, Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Ontario. Lake Michigan. Final answer? Final answer. Sure, you bet, right there on Lake Michigan, the great city of Chicago. <laughs> Just eight away from the million, $8,000 question, here it is. Which of these fictional TV sleuths is a woman? J.B. Fletcher, Dr. Quincy, Ellery Queen, Colt Seavers. A, J.B. Fletcher. J.B. Fletcher. Confident? Mm -hmm. Final answer? Final answer. Got it for $8,000. She's the mystery writer from Murder, She $16,000, Tom, take a look. Which of the following animals normally eats, rests, and sleeps on its back? Sloth, hyena, sea otter, hedgehog. I'd like to use the 50-50, please. Let's narrow it down, computer. Take away two of those wrong answers, please. It's either the sloth or the sea otter. sea otters eat on their back, but I don't know about resting and sleeping on their back. And I know sloths spend a lot of time on their backs. Okay. Want to uh, go for the final answer here? It's only money. Why not? Does that mean yes? No, no, the correct answer is the sea otter. I'm sorry, Tom. Sorry. Right. You win a thousand dollars, though. Thank Thanks very much, Don. Good luck. <laughs> Too bad. So you remember a sloth hangs from the trees. It's the sea otter that sleeps, eats, and rests on its back. Good luck to Tom. Now we have eight people ready to hear the next fastest finger question, and here it is. With these toys in the order they were invented, starting with the earliest. Koosh ball, slinky, roller skates, etch-a-sketch. All right, time's up. Let's check the answer now in the correct order, starting with the earliest toy, roller skates, and then slinky, then etch-a-sketch, and finally, a koosh ball. Who got it right on the fastest time? Let's see. The winner is Ian Eat.
Jason Z is good for you. Let's go. So we have a newspaper reporter from uh, Seattle, Washington, from the Seattle Times, Ian Eath. Nice to have you here. As a matter of fact, your girlfriend Tracy is also a newspaper reporter in Seattle. What paper do you report for? The Seattle Post Intelligencer. The Post Intelligencer. Right. And you're with the Times. Now, right. is it a competition? Do you handle the same beat? Every day. Which beat is that? Um, crime, criminal justice. No kidding. Breaking news. And so that you're competing against each other? Not all the time, but a lot of the times we cover the same court cases. Now, do your editors know that you're dating? Oh, no. Isn't there a conflict everyone. of interest here? Oh, if we'll we try How to is Seattle going to survive with this? Oh, it's probably over. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun. All right, fine. Well, Ian, glad you're here. You know about the rules. You know about uh, the lifeline. So let's do it, okay? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Ian Eaton. $100. Which of the following words best describes the Earth's shape? Pointy, flat, round, sexy. That would, uh, the best describes it would be round. Yes, Ian, round is the shape of the Earth. $200. Which of these items is designed to support the head of a sleeping person? Top sheet, pillow, comforter, mommy. <laughs> You're making me nervous, but I think it's B, pillow. Pillow, the right answer is for you, Ian. $300 for Ian. Something that creates unexpected problems for a project is said to throw a what into the works? Monkey wrench, buzz saw, pliers, jelly donut. <laughs> a monkey wrench. That's what you would throw into the works if you're gonna make a problem. The old monkey wrench. He's up to $500. Cufflinks are used as an alternative to what? Shoelaces, bow tie, buttons, belt. That would be C buttons. Are you sure, Ian? I'm sure. Quite Final. Right. Yes, you got it. Buttons, of course. <laughs> He's won 500. He's going for 1,000. According to Emily Post, in the U.S., a tip for good service from a waiter is customarily what percentage of the bill? 5 to 10 percent, 15 to 20 percent, 25 to 30 percent, 40 to 45 percent. Well, Tracy thinks I'm a miserably cheap tipper, but I think it's B, 15 to 20%. That's what they tip. Right on the money, Ian. We'll be back in a moment. He's going for $2,000.